So we're all pretty familiar with tides, but why do they happen? It's because of the relationship the Earth has with the Sun and Moon. Gravity plays a huge role in these relationships. If there were no other forces at play, the Earth's own centrifugal force and gravitational forces as it rotates would keep the water at the same levels. In case we all forgot what that was, it's the apparent force that's trying to pull rotating things away from their natural center of rotation. But since the moon has a force on the Earth, that disrupts the Earth's group and pulls the water toward the moon, which we call high tide. But the water on the opposite side of the Earth is also experiencing high tide. To get an idea of this, imagine yourself swinging a bowling ball attached to a rope around your body as you spin. You have to lean back to compensate for its weight, which puts the center of mass between you and the object. So, the same force happens when the Earth moves around the Sun. However, solar tides are about half as large as lunar tides. When the Moon, Sun, and Earth all line up, we experience tides called spring tides, named not because of the season, but because the water springs extra high because both the Moon and Sun are working together to exert force. Lower tides occur when the Moon, Sun, and Earth are at a 90 degree angle. These tides are called neap tides. So what do tides have to do with us here on Earth? Tides are really important for many people's lives, especially those who rely on the ocean for their jobs or their leisurely activities. In some areas, the tides determine how many fish and sea life is in any area at a given time. Tides also come in handy when you're trying to navigate a ship or, you know, not get swept away by them. So tides are actually pretty important to us here on Earth. Thanks for watching.